So this is our bestseller. It's our Based in Tuckerondo collection. We came out with it last April. Um, so our brand is called Ani, which means hello in Anishinaabe Moan. Ani uses Ojibwe syllabics as the design focus on their apparel. Their goal is to make Indigenous languages visible every day. We have syllabics of the Mohawk word Tuckerondo. And um, just down here, so Tuckerondo actually means where the trees are standing in the water. So the design's actually the trees is the Toronto skyline, and then the water reflection has the actual cityscape in it. As an Indigenous woman, Chelsea Pettit wanted to highlight the history of Indigenous languages. So this one here says Gawin Giabi, and Gawin Giabi means no more. So it also has the translation on the sleeve here, and the English translation just below that as well. Sparked the idea to start creating conversations using Indigenous syllabics on clothing. Um, in that moment, I felt very seen and included in society, something I have, haven't really ever felt before. Um, so I just wanted to create that experience for other Indigenous people across Canada. Her business has grown fast in just the past year, participating in year two of Amex Canada's Blueprint Mentorship and Grant Program designed to support the advancement of BIPOC entrepreneurs in Canada. And now she will soon be opening a new storefront in the stacked market. I wanted to pivot and bring others into the space as well. So we now carry 30 other Indigenous brands and businesses. So this is another designer that we carry at the store. Her name is Leslie Hampton. I think just taking any small step is a big step for the long-term future of Indigenous people across Canada. Well, they'll be doing their grand reopening here at Stacked Market in June. In the meantime, orders can be made online. At the Stacked Market, Audra Brown, City News.